Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle is an expendable launch system operated by the Indian Space Research Organization. GSLV was used in 14 launches from 2001 to 2021, with more launches planned. Even though GSLV Mark III shares the name, it is an entirely different launch vehicle. The Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle Project was initiated in 1990 with the objective of acquiring an Indian launch capability for geosynchronous satellites. GSLV uses major components that are already proven in the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle launch vehicles in the form of the S-125-S-139 solid rocket booster and a liquid-fueled VCOS engine. Due to the thrust required for injecting the satellite in geostationary transfer orbit the third stage was to be powered by a LOX LH2 cryogenic engine which at that time India did not possess or had the technology know-how to build one. Indigenous Cryogenic Upper Stage CE7 5 of GSLV The first development flight of the GSLV was launched on April 18, 2001 was a failure as the payload failed to reach the intended orbit parameters. The launcher was declared operational after the second development flight successfully launched the XAT-2 satellite. During the initial years from the initial launch to 2014 the launcher had a checkered history with only two successful launches out of seven. The third stage was to be procured from Russian company Glavcosmos, including transfer of technology and design details of the engine based on an agreement signed in 1991. Russia backed out of the deal after United States objected to the deal as in violation of the missile technology control regime in May 1992. As a result, ISRO initiated the cryogenic upper stage project in April 1994 and began developing its own cryogenic engine. A new agreement was signed with Russia for 7 KVD-1 cryogenic stages and one ground mock-up stage with no technology transfer, instead of five cryogenic stages along with the technology and design as per the earlier agreement. These engines were used for the initial flights and were named GSLV MKI. The 49 meters tall GSLV, with a liftoff mass of 415 T, is a three stage vehicle with solid, liquid, and cryogenic stages, respectively. The payload fairing, which is 7. 8 meters long and 3. 4 meters in diameter, protects the vehicle electronics and the spacecraft during its ascent through the atmosphere. It is discarded when the vehicle reaches an altitude of about 115 kilometers. GSLV employs S-band telemetry and C-band transponders for enabling vehicle performance monitoring, tracking, range safety, flight safety and preliminary orbit determination. The redundant strap-down inertial navigation system slash inertial guidance system of GSLV housed in its equipment bay guides the vehicle from liftoff to spacecraft injection. The digital autopilot and closed loop guidance scheme ensure the required altitude maneuver and guide injection of the spacecraft to the specified orbit. The GSLV can place approximately 5,000 kg into an easterly low Earth orbit or 2,500 kg into an 18 degrees geostationary transfer orbit. Strap on motors of GSLV F05 being integrated with the core stage. The first GSLV flight, GSLV D1, used the L40 stage. Subsequent flights of the GSLV used high-pressure engines in the strap-on boosters called the L40H. The GSLV uses four L40H liquid strap-on boosters derived from the L37. Five-second stage, which are loaded with 42. Six tons of hypergolic propellants. The propellants are stored in tandem in two independent tanks too. One meter diameter. The engine is pump-fed and generates 760 kilonewtons of thrust, with a burn time of 150 seconds. GSLV D1 used the S125 stage which contained 125T of solid propellant and had a burn time of 100 seconds. All subsequent launches have used enhanced propellant loaded S139 stage. The S139 stage is too. 8 meters in diameter and has a nominal burn time of 100 seconds. Hoisting of the GSLV F09 second stage during vehicle integration. The GS2 stage is powered by the VCOS engine. It has a diameter of 2. 8 meters. The third stage of the GSLV Mark II is propelled by the Indian CE7. 5 cryogenic rocket engine while the older defunct Mark I is propelled using a Russian-made KVD-1. It uses liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. The Indian cryogenic engine was built at the liquid propulsion system center. The engine has a default thrust of 75 kN but is capable of a maximum thrust of 93. 1 kN. 
Payload fairing with SAT-6A being integrated. GSLV rockets using the Russian cryogenic stage are designated as the GSLV Mark I while versions using the indigenous cryogenic upper stage are designated the GSLV Mark II. All GSLV launches have been conducted from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sriharikota. The first developmental flight of GSLV Mark I had a 129-ton first stage and was capable of launching around 1,500 kg into geostationary transfer orbit. The second developmental flight replaced the S-125 stage with S-139. It used the same solid motor with 138-ton propellant loading. The chamber pressure in all liquid engines were enhanced, enabling a higher propellant mass and burn time. These improvements allowed GSLV to carry an additional 300 kilograms of payload. The fourth operational flight of GSLV Mark I, GSLV F06, had a longer third stage called the C-15 with 15-ton propellant loading and also employed a 4-meter diameter payload fairing. Launch of GSLV F-11 Sat-7A from second launch pad of Satish Dhawan Space Center This variant uses an Indian cryogenic engine, the CE-7-5, and is capable of launching 2,500 kg into geostationary transfer orbit. Previous GSLV vehicles have used Russian cryogenic engines. For launches from 2018, a 6% increased thrust version of the Vikas engine was developed. It was demonstrated on March 29, 2018 in the XAT-6A launch second stage. It was used for the four Vikas engines' first stage boosters on future missions. A 4 meters diameter ogive payload fairing was developed and deployed for the first time in the EOS-03 launch on August 12, 2021, although this launch was a failure due to technical anomalies with the cryogenic upper stage. This will allow GSLV vehicles to accommodate larger payloads. As of August 12, 2021, rockets from the GSLV family have made 14 launches, resulting in 8 successes, 4 failures, and 2 partial failures. All launches have occurred from the Satish Dhawan Space Center, known before 2002 as the Sriharikota Range. Thanks for watching.